Hello and welcome everybody. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to unlock the bootloader of uh, Xperia mobile phones. So the first step, what you need to do is you need to check the IMEI of your mobile phone. So the procedure to check the IMEI number of your mobile phone is just you need to the dial star pound zero six pound. So this will display your IMEI. So Take this IMEI and note down into the notepad of your computer. It will be required later. And the second step what you need to do is you need to check if you can unlock the bootloader. So for this you need to dial star pound star pound 7378423 pound star pound star. So once you dial this, uh, don't worry, I'll keep this number in the description of the video. So you need to check in service info and the configuration. So here you can see the bootloader lo unlocked allowed is yes. So if this option is yes, then only you can unlock the bootloader of the Xperia phones. If it is no, then you cannot unlock the bootloader. So We'll proceed to the next step now. So till now we have completed these two steps. We have got the IMEI number from our mobile phone by dialing the short code. And also we have checked the routing status. That is your boot loop. loader unlock allowed is yes or no. So we'll continue with step 3. What you need to do is you need to get the unlocking key from this uh, URL. So just go to the URL and scroll down to the page and click continue you will be asked are you sure so just click in yes and check these two boxes acknowledgement boxes and accept the terms and conditions type in your name and your IMEI which you have taken I'll put this email ID and put your email ID here and click on submit if you are getting this kind of error just remove the last number from the IMEI list and try it once again so we'll wait for the confirmation mail I think so we have got this mail from the Sony so your key is this we will save this key we will save this key for the further use and what the next step is you need to download the Android SDK from the Android developer website so this is the URL I will place all the URLs and the links in the description of the video so click on get SDK and you can download the SDK from here and what the next step is you need to download the past boot drivers so you can get these drivers from this link and you can download this I have already downloaded the SDK as well as the past boot drivers so we will proceed to the next step so this is your Android SDK and the past boot drivers so just extract these two zip files so you have successfully unzip just open this and run the SDK manager by double clicking the file so once you have done this what is the next step is you need to download the USB Google USB driver package revision 4 or higher so you can scroll down to the bottom and you can see the USB driver just select this and click on install packages no need to install this package you need to select the google usb driver revision 8 just accept it and install the driver so you are downloading the usb driver will be completed we will proceed to the next step after the download and installation is finished so your google uh, usb driver revision 8 has been successfully installed after this step what you need to do is you need to unzip the second file so just unzip this 
and you'll get this uh, Android underscore Win USB file, which is the fast boot uh, drivers file. So what you need to do is you need to copy this file and place this file into SDK Extra Google and the USB driver folder. So I'll copy this. I'll copy this file and I'll place this in SDK Extra Google and this USB drive folder. Just copy this and uh, replace the existing file with this file. So the next step is you need to turn on your phone into the fast boot mode. So there are different buttons for different Xperia devices for uh, opening the mobile into the fast boot mode. So you can follow this link here to check down uh, what are the fast boot buttons which are supported for your devices. So let's open your uh, mobile in the fast boot mode. To connect your phone in the fast boot mode, what you need to do is you need to connect the USB cable to the computer and you need to press the fast boot mode button which is the power up key for the Xperia Ion phone. You can choose the fast boot mode key according to your phone. So you need to press this key and hold it for few seconds and while holding it you need to enter uh, insert your USB cable into the phone. So you will see a blue light here. This indicates that your fast boot has been activated. So once you have installed the drivers, you will see the icon here as the fast boot mode and if you have not installed the drivers, uh, it will prompt you for installing the drivers. I will show you in the next step of the video. So once your mobile is uh, started in the fast boot mode, you will be prompted to install the drivers. So once you have uh, connected the mobile in the fast boot mode, you need to select the USB driver folder where we have kept the file. We have kept this file to whenever it asks for installing the driver, you need to select this folder you, and your USB fast mode driver will be installed. I have already installed it in my system. So I cannot show you how to do it. So this is already here you can see your eject s1 fastboot is already installed if you are having problems with that you can also right click on my computer and click on manage and you can go to device manager and here you can uh, when if your driver is giving some problems so you can see that uh, one fastboot icon will be there and uh, yellow warning will be shown so just uh, right click on it and you can update the driver by selecting the procedure which I have shown you have to select this folder again and you can update the driver in that way also so let's proceed to the next, next step now you need to go into the folder in SDK you need to go to platform tools and in this folder you need to open the command prompt so just uh, press the shift key on the keyboard and right click. So this will uh, option will be shown here open command window here. So this will open your command prompt in the present directory. So here you need to run two commands. So the first command which you need to run is the fastboot.exe get version. This will verify if your mobile is uh, successfully connected or not. You just paste this command and put enter. So your version revision 5.5 finished total time and this shows that your mobile is successfully connected and the last step which you need to do is you need to run this command but in the last you can see this key here you need to replace this key with the key which you have got in the email so this is the key which we have got in the email Remove this key and type in this one. And I'll copy this and I'll paste it here. So before running this command, you need to know that by unlocking the bootloader, your warranty will be voided. You need to 
look up on the instructions before you do this but uh, after this step your bootloader will be unlocked so just press enter so here you can see bootloader unlock phone request it says ok and finish in this way your bootloader for the sony xperia phones is done this is the last step by which you can unlock the phone just follow these simple steps and you can unlock the bootloader this is the official way to unlock the bootloader for the xperia phones i hope this has been informative for you and i'd like to thank you for viewing